here. Thanks for returning to my channel. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to have you here with me today because I am going to be going through my empties and as you can see by my closet floor here in the makeup room, I have quite a few of them. But before I get into that to show you the things that I have used up in my life here, I did want to show you the outfit and jewelry that I have on today. Almost all of it is from Amazon. I absolutely love this sweater dress. I wear it as a sweater dress and also I wear it over jeans and I have it in about five different colors. Something about the winter, fall and winter, just really makes me feel good in a turtleneck and this is a very slim fitting dress that looks great on about any body shape. And if you're not yet a member of the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you an email whenever I post a video. Most all of them are about anti-aging and feeling great in our second half. Ooh, I just got a frog in my throat there. Okay, let's get into this. I have a lot to go through. The first empty I have is a sad one because this one costs over $100. And I love this Joe Malone London Wild Bluebell Cologne. If you love florals and just a pure, clean, beautiful smell, you will absolutely love this. This is my favorite ever. I keep trying to order other ones from Joe Malone and I keep paying a lot of money for them. And this is the best, the Wild Bluebell. Okay, let's get into some makeup empties, and these are old favorites of mine. These are my brow pencil, which is the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil in the color blonde. I think it works very well, although I think I needed a little bit more on today. I'm looking a little gray. Oh, well, <laughs> that's just the way it goes some days, girls. Um, and also this pure on point eyeliner. This is in the color down to earth, which is a nice brown. I've decided that going forward, I'm not going to wear as intense a line, not, you know, very dark from the open to the close of the eyelid, just maybe mostly from the middle on back, but I really love this. And it has a self sharpening point, which is just great. Now I also have two other makeup empties. This is the Morphe primer. I can't remember what it's called. It's a lash primer. And if they still have it, it is a very, very good one. I think I like it the best of about any lash primer. It actually goes on like um, blue, which is very strange, kind of like a neon blue, but it looks kind of blackish on your eyes. And the minute you add your mascara, it no longer looks blue anymore. And it really just really gives you thick eyelashes, which is great. And this is yet again, another Stila Huge Extreme Lash Empty. I've used this for about three years, absolutely love it. I don't have it on today. Actually, I have a CoverGirl very light looking mascara on today called, oh, I can't remember what the thing is called, CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume, that's it. And you know, this is an empty, but I'm going to go ahead and put a little Stila on because I don't think that my eyelashes look as good as they could. This is an empty, so who knows? It's probably just clumpy and old. But anyway, no, it's not really doing much, but I, I really like this. This is a very glam looking mascara. It's not super clumpy, but it does give you thickness and length. And I think that did help a little bit. Okay, for those of you who followed my channel, you know that I had lash extensions. I tried them out for about three months, maybe about three months ago, I had them taken off. And basically with the lash extensions came pretty much all my eyelashes, but now they're long and glorious again. And the reason I can say they're glorious is really not because of me. When left to my own devices, my eyelashes don't grow that thick or that long, but this Revita Lash, I absolutely love it. I have used it now for about two years. Every time I try something else, it just does not work out nearly as well. The other ones, either they don't grow my lashes or they work for a month or so and then they stop working, but this Revita Lash is amazing. And every morning I also use this Lumify. And again, I've used this probably two or three years. It really helps my whites of my eyes look whiter because I like to say, well, I don't like to say it, but my eyes in the morning when I get up, they are red snake eyes. They look just terrible. It looks like I had a really late night at a disco or something. It just looks terrible. But this just brings up the whites of your eyes, makes them beautiful again. And whites of your eyes looking white looks younger and I really do appreciate that. Okay, my next empties are all lip products. The first is the L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick in the color Varnished Rosewood. And this is just a really nice kind of 
kind of a rosy brown color. It's, it's very, very nice, very neutral. I have gone through this tube maybe three different times because this is the perfect lipstick when you just want something that is for everyday wear that goes with just about anything. It is truly great. And I also love these Maybelline Lifter Glosses. I've used them for about two years. This is my favorite color ever. This is a color called Crystal. And basically it just gives you kind of a bronzy look over any lipstick. Here it is. Had a little bit more in the, uh, in the vial there. But see that just nulls out that extreme brown of that lipstick. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. I use this almost every single day. And another lip product that I have bought over and over again is the Maybelline Vinyl Ink in the color Koi. And isn't that a beautiful color? And that is the color that it ends up on your lips. And right now I have a Sigma Brown lipstick on my lips. But whenever I want something bright, I always go to this Maybelline Koi color, which I think is absolutely beautiful. It just brightens up your whole face. Wear it with a little bit of a pinkish tone blush and you just look radiant, alive, and really ready for your day. Okay, next I have some skincare empties. And this is a little used up, crunchy little tube of tretinoin and it's the 0.5% strength, half strength of tretinoin. And I've decided to move up to the 1% strength and to do that, I keep using my half percent strength every single night, just a pea size amount, but one night a week, in fact, tonight is my second week I will be doing this, but one night a week I go in with the 1% strength and I do that one night a week for the first month. In the second month, I'll use that two nights a week. In the third month, three nights a week. It will take me seven months to get completely switched out of using the half percent into the 1% but it is definitely worth it to go slowly. Even going as slowly as I have, I've only used the 1% one night last week and I peeled like a snake. Okay, this empty is from Paula's Choice and I've probably ordered this seven, eight times. I absolutely love this. This is a toner that really minimizes the look of your pores. And if you happen to be a little bit on the oily side, it just reduces that oiliness. And also it includes niacinamide, which is an overall skin brightener. And when I don't use this, when I run out of it, I notice that my skin just gets kind of dark and murky and dull looking. And after a few days of using this again, my skin tone just looks brighter, more even, and just better. Okay, for my body skin, I use and swear by this Alpha Skin Care 12% Glycolic Acid Renewal Body Lotion. And I have had to force myself to get into the habit of using body lotion because I never used to like it. I felt like whenever I put it on, it stayed greasy feeling and I just did not like the feel of it. I could hardly stand to use it. But maybe about six months ago during the summer, I would look down at my arms at about two o'clock in the afternoon and I would look like a dry scaly alligator. And I realized that I needed to add this to my early morning habit string. And this is a very, very good lotion. The glycolic acid actually helps slough off the dead skin cells on your body, on your arms and legs. That's where I use it. And I truly do love this now. And it does sink into the skin very quickly. And it does not have a greasy feel at all once you get used to using it. Now, my next two empties contribute to my very white teeth. And I have to admit that I do have very white teeth because I use this once a week, actually twice a week, on Sunday night and Wednesday night, I will go to sleep with these whitening strips on. These are the Lumino Lightening Strips. I actually wear a retainer on my bottom teeth, so I'll put the strip on there and stick the retainer on, and then I'll use the top strip with no retainer because I just have a bottom retainer. But I wear this for at least an hour, and it really does contribute to my teeth looking quite a bit whiter. And sometimes people in the comment section will say, you have veneers, don't you? And no, I do not have veneers. These are my natural teeth. And to keep them white, I tried to find a really good whitening toothpaste and I've settled on this one. And it's expensive, it's like $7.50 a tube, but the tube does last a good long time. This is the Opalescence Whitening Toothpaste in the flavor Cool Mint. And what I do is I apply this to the head of my Sonicare toothbrush, and then I dip the toothpasted head down into some baking soda that I keep in a little Tupperware. Then I spray the whole thing there with hydrogen peroxide, and it really keeps my teeth extremely white. And I asked my dentist if it was okay to do that, if baking soda was too abrasive, and she's like, absolutely not. Baking soda only ranks a three on a scale of 100 in terms of grittiness and harshness on your teeth. And she says there are toothpastes that are harsher than baking soda. And at one point I was worried about abrading my teeth or something, and so I quit using that for probably three or four months. 
And when I went in to have my cleaning, my hygienist said, Beth, your teeth just don't look as good. What has been the change? And I mentioned that I stopped using the baking soda and peroxide. And she said, hey, Beth, that is very safe. You need to go back to that. Now, my next empties are supplements. And the first is this Now Vitamin brand, Vitamin D3. And it is 2000 IUs, which is a good medium range. It's not too high, it's not too low. Vitamin D is very good, especially if you use sunblock and don't get out into the sun much. And then this one is now vitamin K2, 100 micrograms. And this goes right along with the vitamin D3. And the Now brand I have heard is a fantastic brand. The company is very reputable. Everything is third party tested. And plus it's super reasonable. Now, I also use this Jaro Formulas EPA DHA Balance, and this is a fish oil, but apparently this particular brand has the correct balance to lighten your mood, to make you happier, and I have been markedly happier over the last maybe six, eight weeks, but I have been using this longer than that, so I don't really attribute my great mood to this, but this is supposed to lighten depression, which is wonderful. Now let's get into some hair empties. The first is this Mark Anthony Instantly Thick Plus Biotin Plump and Lift Styling Cream. And I have used this for probably four years. You just take a little of the cream, scruffle it together in your hands, and then you pull it out basically from here down on either side. It does thicken up your hair. And if you want thickness all over, I also add this Boldify Spray. And this is called Hair Thickening Spray by Brand Hollywood. And again, I've used this for three or four years. It's very inexpensive. I just spray this all over my hair along with applying that Mark Anthony Thickening Cream. And it really helps my hair look like it has much more body, which I really appreciate. Okay, the next empty I am not repurchasing. And this is the Kenra Volume Spray 25. And I used to swear by this because I used to really like a super strong hairspray that kind of kept my hair like a helmet. Well, my stylist kept commenting for maybe the last three or four times I went to get a haircut. She'd say, Beth, you've got hairspray in your hair. You really need to use a clarifying shampoo to get rid of that. That hairspray is obviously pretty strong in your hair. Maybe revisit the idea on whether or not you should be using that. And unfortunately, I loved this hairspray for several years and I have like four bottles of it in my cabinet in there, four unused bottles, and it's not cheap, but I am not going to be repurchasing this. I am now using the Kenra Volume Spray 13, which is about half the stickiness and the hold of this one, but it does work very well. I have the Kenra 13 hairspray in my hair right now and I really do like it. Now, here is a Kenra Volume Mousse Extra 17 and I did not like this. About halfway through the can, the once beautiful little cloud of mousse turned into like white water. It was like putting sticky white water onto my hair. It was not working anymore, so I will not be repurchasing this, although this is empty. I did get to the bottom of that. And for a hair conditioner, every two weeks, I use the It's a 10 Miracle Hair Mask. And this is like the second huge one that I purchased like this, and quite honestly, I'm about to need to purchase it again but I have used other conditioners and nothing to me works as well as this It's a 10 Miracle Hair Mask. It really gives you a lot of shine and my hair is overprocessed and very blonded, very lightened. And so the fact that I'm able to get any shine at all is pretty amazing and I really credit it to this It's a 10. Now, my last two empties are hair empties, and these are Kenra products that I've used for years. This is the Kenra Volumizing Shampoo and the Kenra Volumizing Conditioner, and it does say maximize your volume, and both of these do that. I really do appreciate these shampoos, and if you want great volume, these are the best products I've found. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And sometimes I give you like positive thinking type thoughts or success oriented thoughts. But today is very down to earth. It's a house cleaning thought. And basically it is a tip. And Sylvia Mead, one of my lovely viewers out there, suggested this to me and I started to use it and I really like it. She said that instead of using Windex on countertops or a particular cleaner on countertops, she uses a mix of half vinegar and half water and she also puts a little spritz just a little drop or two of dishwashing soap in here i happen to have the dawn dishwashing soap in here and i have been using this spray in my bathroom and my kitchen and in my makeup room area and i really do like it i like the fact that it is not a harsh chemical it is not ammonia or anything like that the vinegar is a very environmentally safe cleaner and this is basically free which i think is wonderful too 
Now, if you have anything that you would like to share here on 50 Plus Beauty, I would love to hear it. Any particular tips that you find useful, whether that's something in terms of attitude to help you be more grateful, have a better day, whether that's something to do with setting goals and achieving them, whether that's something to do with organization or household chores, I hope you will leave the information in the comments section below the video because that way we can all help each other. I know everyone's interested in reading those and I may share your tip in a future episode of 50 Plus Beauty. And with that, I will let you go for the day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.